Hello, everyone. I'm Augusta Myers. Let's take a brief look at what's been going on in City of Albuquerque-related news lately. The city is encouraging residents to work for the city you love as it seeks to hire employees for positions across all departments. Hiring bonuses starting at $750 are being offered for certain high-need jobs. With a boom in activity since the lifting of the pandemic restrictions, employees are needed to ensure that Albuquerque can make a full recovery. More can be found on available positions at cabq.gov forward slash bonus. And this reminder to Albuquerque residents who need help paying rent and utilities, there are still emergency funds available. The city, along with the Department of Finance Administration, is working to get funds to renters who are at or below 80 percent of the area median income, have been impacted by COVID, and are at risk of homelessness or housing instability. For information and an application, visit cabq.gov forward slash rent. The city's Vision Zero, a global platform aimed at eliminating traffic fatalities and serious injuries, found support for the use of mobile speed enforcement through online community input. Vision Zero asked questions about priority locations, implementation, the penalty and appeal process, and other issues centered on ensuring the equitable use of this technology. More input sessions are scheduled through the end of August. And this past week, the city broke ground on another redevelopment project along Route 66. Renovation at the Imperial Inn Motel on Central Avenue will use loan funds repaid from the old Albuquerque High Rehab Project to repurpose the property, which, when finished, will include 52 guest rooms, 16 residential suites, and approximately 4,400 square feet of rentable commercial space for micro-retail and restaurateurs. And that will do it for this week's City News for Now. Be sure to join us again for our next installment right here on One Albuquerque Media. I'm Augusta Myers. Thanks for joining me.